Okay, Pesach is here. Everyone agrees that Pesach is a joyous holiday, and everyone agrees that Pesach is a difficult holiday. What's the most difficult part of the festival of Pesach? Well, some would say the cooking and the cleaning, but I don't believe that because I don't do it. Some would say giving up all the chametz, the bagels, and so on and so forth. But today, they have kosher Pesach pizza, I guess, to commemorate the exodus of the Jews from Sicily. For me, giving up a good bottle of gin for eight days is not the greatest thing in the world. But I bought now a bottle of kosher Pesach Shlivovitz, and it's 144 proof. So I'm looking forward to Pesach, but there might not be a partial preview for the next couple of weeks. I would tell you the most difficult part of Pesach is fulfilling what the Haggadah tells us, Chayiv Adam, that every person is obligated to see themselves as if they left Egypt. We have to feel just as the Jews felt when they left Egypt. It's not easy trying to get into somebody else's shoes and knowing how it feels. The success of your Pesach is going to depend upon your being able to do this. Realizing how others feel. The other is being the people at the Pesach Seder. The Pesach Seder is the most important Jewish experience of the year for a family. It is the quintessential Jewish family experience. The memories that are left from the Pesach Seder have impact years and years later. I remember once hearing the actress Ellen Balkan say that her family say it once ended with somebody throwing a piece of roast beef at a relative across the table. There are a lot of Pesach Seders that end up being a place of conflict, of settling old wounds. Don't let that happen to you. If you're one of the children attending your parents' Seder, try and get into their shoes. They may not be as quick and as sharp and as fast as they used to be. They may repeat themselves sometimes. Have a little patience. Put yourself in their shoes. They're getting a little older. They're spending more time visiting doctors, attending funerals of friends. Try and understand how that feels. And if you're part of the older generation, we all sit and judge our kids. And they never quite are up to par, they're too materialistic, they don't set the proper values for their children. You know the whole list. Try and put yourself in their shoes. They're living in a world of challenges that are very different than when we were growing up. Their challenge is not to make a buck, it's to make a million bucks. And they have things and social media that's pulling their family apart. Don't be judgmental. Try and understand. See where they're coming from. If everyone at the Pesach Seder will just spend a moment doing what we Jews have tried to do for more than 3,000 years, understanding how others felt through their experience, will not only have a Chag Kasher, a kosher holiday, but one that's Sameach, that's joyous and happy as well. 
Chag Sameach to all of you.